I know what it is you do. There is still time for you. We'll show you the way to the kingdom of heaven. Repent, or you will be left for the final cleansing. <laughs> what are you doing back here? Are you okay? Who's this? She's from that weirdo cult. I think they're gonna leave for heaven before the rest of us. Was that your mother? Yeah. What happened to her? You don't want to call this kind of thing in. It just creates more problems. Now we just got to clean it up. Are you going to go home? You can't go home. We have a rule. You stay, you work. But if you work, you take care of me. Because it's rough out there. You a good buddy? Sure I am. Looking for a little fun. Your mind has been poisoned. And I know it is not your fault. You are so beautiful. Oh, you don't have to be scared. I couldn't hurt a fly. I am ready for you. Use me. We are here to cleanse ourselves of this world. And then we will leave it. Hey everybody, hope you guys are having a good weekend. I am John Royce, I'm the host of the Witching Hour Podcast. Thank you for joining me again. Uh, as you can see, there are no other faces on this screen, which means I am not interviewing anybody, but does mean I am bringing you a movie in movie review. Hmm. Yeah. Anyhow, um, so just last night, I was actually sitting on the couch scrolling through TV and came across on Tubi. So I'm already telling you where you can watch the film. Um, I saw Candyland was on there. Now, I know it's not a new movie, but it is something that I have not seen yet. And for those of you who have not, guess what? It's on Tubi. And I'm going to tell you about it right now. I've been wanting to see this ever since I first saw the trailers for it. Uh, the film is directed by John Swab, who, if you remember, brought you the film Let Me Make You a Martyr uh, that starred Marilyn Manson. The film was a re was released last January 6th of 2023. Uh, the film stars uh, our main character, let's say, uh, is... Olivia Lucardi, who plays Remy. Olivia was also in the film Soft and Quiet. If you remember that film, if you haven't, I highly recommend you check that out. But that's another dime. Um, Remy is a member of a religious cult. Remy is banished from her cult. She shows up at the back of a very, very seedy truck stop diner hotel combo all nice one little package now for those of you that are that travel you're on the road constantly you've all been to these truck stops they look the sound the same all of them now there are nicer newer ones on the interstates um but you pull into these older ones you you just you got to love them. If there's a diner connected to it, it's probably some of the best food you're ever going to have. Just don't ask to go into the kitchen and look at where they're cooking and where your food came from. Um, the hotels are always single floor units only. Um, they all look the same. They all sound the same. You've all seen them. Maybe not have stayed in them, but I know you've all seen them. Uh, it's, the farthest thing away from a Hilton, and they're usually anywhere from $20 to $30 a night, maybe $35 or $50 on the weekends. Um, but anyhow, your official one-stop truck stop. Um, she's found sitting out back by a couple of 
truck stop hookers that live, eat, and work one stop shop, like I said, the entire truck stop. She is taken in and, yes, made to turn tricks. Um, so, guest starring in the film is uh, Virginia Rand, Eden Brolin, yes, Josh's daughter, if you're going to ask, uh, Sam Quentin, Quentin, Quentin. Uh, Owen Campbell, who plays Levi, who you, you might remember from the film X, uh, William Baldwin plays Sheriff Rex, and Guinevere Turner plays Nora, who is the madam. Okay, so there are about, I believe, three hotel rooms. They bunk together, live together. They're their own little apartments, whatever. Um, so Remy is taken in, made to feel to be part of the family. Now, the film first starts off. Its opening scene is that of one of the girls on top of a trucker in the cab of his truck, and it's pound town time. Okay, so that kind of sets the feel for the film. The film does move along at a good pace, and you start to notice uh, a bathroom murder. There's a corpse. His hands are found folded. Kind of odd. But needless to say, Sheriff Rex comes into town and uh, it's kind of just swept away. See, Sheriff Rex has a failed marriage. And uh, with that being said, he leaves the family, Madam and her kids, if you will, leaves them alone for exchange love by levi who is the male prostitute of the group so that body just kind of disposed of well remy joins and she's like i said she is pure innocent and yes a virgin <laughs> so here's a small spoiler they set her up when she agrees to do everything and go to town and start working. And they set her up with a John that comes to the hotel room. He's a regular. He's a very nice, gentle, soft-spoken man. You will appreciate him, and he's going to love you. We would never set you up on your first time with any of these roughneck cowboy truck driver types. Okay. Well, she, <laughs> sorry, it's kind of funny still. She laughs. Or, sorry, um, I'm laughing. She gets herself all dolled up. There's a knock at the door. She answers, and lo and behold, it is probably a 60, 65-year-old gray-haired priest. Soft-spoken and gentle, he was. Um, now, does Remy finish the job? Oh, yes, she does. Um, what I thought from when I first saw the film's trailers, um, it was, yes, a religious battle. Um, and it was. Remy has taken it upon herself to infiltrate, infiltrate the... Uh, the family that lives at the truck stop, the family of hookers, and to cleanse them of their sins. She has this crucifix that ping, uh, comes apart and has about an eight inch blade on the tip of it. And she goes to town one at a time. And I'm not going to tell you who wins who survives, who doesn't survive. Uh, but it does get bloody. If you want to picture a, a sexually oriented, sexually fuel driven carry in comparison, I think that's probably a good one. Um, 
halfway through the movie, you know, it 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 started off strong. I thought it was definitely going to be a video nasty. Um, even just from watching the trailers, I kind of expected a little bit more uh, brutality. Um, not so much um, violence in the sense of just killing, um, but hookers, truckers. I expected a lot more rape in this film. Let's put it that way. And there is a rape scene. Uh, I'm I'm not going to lie about that. There is one kind of surprised me, actually. Took me off guard. Um, so no spoilers on that. But yes, I am letting you know there is one involved in it. Um, but the film actually kind of lightens up for a little bit. And it almost becomes an instructional video. A how to become a happy and safe hooker at a truck stop you learn some stuff in there they talk about signals and this and that and flashing lights and all kinds of shit and yes they usually go and they eat at the diner for breakfast and then you will see them periodically eating ho-hos and ding-dongs no pun intended i'm talking about hostess and you will um see them just kind of eating on the run or on the go uh, while sitting out back, waiting for the Johns to pull in and flash the lights, or if it's a local in a car, they know to pull in. It's kind of funny that they, um, even the Johns know where to park and how to park. Um, so, yeah, there is actually stuff to actually be learned if you're ever interested or in the market. And with this economy nowadays, can't blame anybody for what anybody does. Anyhow, uh, the film, like I did mention, is on Tubi. Yes, so there are commercials, there are breaks, but if you have Tubi, give it a watch. I did like the movie. Um, I have not seen any other of John Swab's films. I have looked over some of the titles, and they all kind of seem to have the same gritty feel. Now, this does have that feel to it. Um, the blood, it, for those of you who have watched my shows um you will know that in horror movies blood the color of blood the consistency of blood that they use the special effects blood of course i'm talking about can make or break a movie with me i can see great movies and then see a blood splatter effect on a window and it has to be a window because the light shining through it makes it look like pink or strawberry jelly and I hate that shit. You're going to have a budget, have a budget good enough to have your special effects, in my opinion, come across really well. And in a film like this, when you have a stalker and you are putting in brutal death scenes, it's got to come across true. It's got to come across real. This one did. I absolutely loved the blood that they used in this movie. Uh, the color, the texture, everything. I really did. Now, yes, there is some truck stop raunchiness kind of feel. Um, you do feel like you are pretty much there on premises. Um, there's a couple great scenes. The acting is done really well. I have no problems uh, with anything that happened in this film other than I expected a little bit more. I expect it to be a little bit darker. I don't give numerical ratings. I tell you if I like it or not, and that's for you to check it out. Uh, I hope you do check it out. If you've watched it, you loved it or hated it, let me know. I really love the talks that we have, and I love being able to compare notes, um, your opinion versus mine, because uh, that's what keeps the horror community going as strong as it is. Do I suggest watching this? Yes, definitely. Um, I did like Candyland. I could definitely see myself watching it again. Uh, the ending, as I mentioned, uh, Remy was in a religious, religious cult. So, uh, and, um, Sheriff Rex is, let's just say the cleaner who makes things just kind of disappear. Well, the ending actually kind of caught me off guard a little bit no spoilers none whatsoever i'm not going to give it an inkling an ounce of any kind of direction but i was kind of surprised by it 
I thought it, it went well. Um, I hope you guys do check it out. Uh, if you got nothing going on, now, of course, you got something going on. I'm the one who has nothing going on on this wild and crazy Saturday night sitting here making videos for you guys to hopefully watch, which I do appreciate your support as always. Um, anyhow, uh, Candyland is a film to be for the third time. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I definitely appreciate your support. As I just mentioned, please keep an eye on the Witching Hour podcast. Please hit the subscribe button down below. It means the world to me to watch those numbers increase. And I just want to let you guys know, no, I do not make any money off of this. Um, to do that with YouTube, you have to have like 50 kajillion, billion, zillion followers anyhow, which I have none compared to. But... Every time my number gets a little bit bigger, YouTube actually starts to share it and distribute it. And I really, really appreciate that. So on top of that, you can find me on all social media platforms, as well as if you are watching TV and you got nothing else to watch and you got a Roku, go to the apps, scroll around. You will find who this guy, the Witching Hour podcast. Yes, you can watch eight of my previous interviews. I am uploading current shows as we speak, but um, you can just download it. Cost you that much. I don't make a penny off of that either. I do it for you guys. So I appreciate the support. Please share my work. Let me know what you guys think. Talk back. Let me know if there's certain movies or anything of that nature that you guys are looking to have reviewed. Please also let me know. Filmmakers musicians, artists, vendors, anything you guys got. You want some support? You need some publicity? Reach out to me. You can always find me here. Like I said, I'm on all social media platforms. You'll find me mostly on Instagram and Facebook are my two most active. You can also contact me at the witching hour podcast at yahoo.com. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Hope it's been a good one so far. I will talk to you guys soon, I hope. Thank you again, and as always, please remember to keep it evil.